Hello, you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol and Lisa Spencer Novak here for Singing Sunday. And she was telling me she just got through doing some operant conditioning with the per cats. Perfection and Beecher. Perfection was lovely. She was a lady. Beecher just is funny. He is in a mood or he's not in a mood. And he was not in the mood today. He was way too distracted by whatever he was distracted by. And even though I had meat on the end of a stick, he went over and ate his grass. So, you know, that, that's just feature. That's what he does. So, but perfection was lovely. So we are on our way today to see Kimba Tiger. And it is just a gorgeous day here in Tampa, Florida. What is the current temperature? 80 something, right? 79. Oh, only 79, okay. Blue skies, just a lovely day. And we're adjusting to the time change as I'm sure all of you are out there. So um, when the alarm went off this morning, it was felt very early <laughs> and getting used to it being dark on the drive in. But I do enjoy having longer days at the end of the day and having a little more daylight. So when I get home from school, I can still ride my bike or walk or do outdoor things. So that's always a nice change. I hear there's a bipartisan bill to make this the last year we ever have to change the time. I know, it, it kind of makes sense. I, it seems like it's one of those holdovers from another era that doesn't really need to be in place anymore. Hi, Daniel. Sorry, trying to read as people come on here. And I saw Deb on there already, hello. And hello, Kathy. And I have no idea where he is. So for those of you out there who might be new, um, my shirt level is yellow. And what that means, we have different levels of keepers and it's based on your number of years being here and the amount of training that you've had. So I am still in the place where I am not trained to work with tigers. So that's not who I feed or clean. So I'm relying on um, Carol and I together are gonna see where Kimba is because He's not a cat that I worked with today. So what yellow levels do is clean the small cats, the bobcats, the servals, the hybrid cats that we have here. So work our way up as we go. And of course, you know, they do have pretty large enclosures, the tigers compared to smaller cats. So he has lots of possible places to be. We call this Tiger Island, and there's only two tigers on Tiger Island, Max and Kimbo. There right, is. up there he is. That'd be nice if he'd stay on his platform. That'd be a good spot. I think he might. Yeah. Just relax and enjoy the music. Hi, Madison. I see you're on today. All right, I'm going to pass that back over so I can... Hi. Can we sing to you? Would that be okay? Let us sing to you. Yeah. We are not going to come any closer. They eat once a day here. In the wild, a tiger might eat once a week or once every 10 days. But in captivity, we feed them every day. We used to feed, or we used to fast on Sundays because our cats do get dewormers uh, monthly. And so it's easier to get them to take all of their dewormer if we have a fasting day. But so many of our cats are really old now that we no longer fast them. I'm just gonna do it out here because I'm afraid if we yeah, start to move fine. in toward him, he's gonna leave. I think that's perfect. So the cats who are really young, they benefit by virtue of the fact that the cats, because he's really young, but uh, because all the older cats are so old, then he gets to be fed every single day. The only time that that's not true is we do a quarterly wormer, and uh, we will fast the day before that. But even then, some of the cats are so old, they still get fed. He's a little bit wary. He's like mm -hmm. keeping one eye on us. Ooh. All right, so everybody can hear me okay. So I've had this uh, song in mind for him for a while now. And I think, uh, as I say,
sing it, you'll understand why. to me now. Hey, what do you got to hide? I get angry too. Well, I'm a lot like you when you're standing at the crossroads. Don't know which path to choose. Let me come along. Cause even if you're Well, let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. Take me in into your darkest hour, and I'll never desert you. I'll stand by you. And when, when the night falls on you, baby, you're feeling all alone, wandering on your I'll stand by you, won't let nobody hurt you, I'll stand by you, take me in into your darkest hour, and I'll never desert you, I'll stand by you, I'll stand by you, won't let nobody hurt you, I'll stand by you. Well, you've got everybody crying and maybe even Kimba because he's not watching. <laughs> Paula says the fact that he's not barking at you means he must love it. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling very fortunate. Maybe I should leave it on. I feel fortunate about that. Um, I wasn't sure what the reaction would be, but I was hopeful. I do think that music is very soothing. Uh, I do believe that. And I'm sure all of you out there understand um, Kimba's been through a lot in a short amount of time in his, what, three short years of life. Um, experienced things that no tiger or living being of any kind should have to experience. Uh, he was rescued from a circus in Guatemala and he was abused, um, mistreated, did not equate us with positive, us, us bipeds. So the fact that he's even has come as far as he has with trusting and allowing this to happen is pretty amazing. You know what else is amazing? Your daughter. Do you want to tell him what she just did for oh, us? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to cry. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> well, you should be. Um, Howie daughter, was like, this is amazing. <laughs> my daughter, who, if, if you have the book of Forever Home, uh, she's the illustrator. My daughter's name is Veronica, and she just created some pages. And it's not that Lisa and I had a daughter together. <laughs> I know. I know. Isn't that funny? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I've always loved that name. Um, her name is Veronica Spencer, and she created some coloring pages uh, for a project that we have going around the Big Cat Public Safety Act uh, for students to use um, to get their uh, legislators to get on board with that. So uh, mother and cub in various situations together. And basically, it says at the bottom to support the Big Cat Public Safety Act because this is where cubs belong with their mother, not in captivity or 
in the other circumstances. So. So we're going to be posting those to our Facebook page and what we're hoping people will do is have their kids and maybe even have their kids take it to their teachers and have all the other kids fill these things out, color them, and send them to their legislators asking them to co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act. <laughs> Karen Nash says the book is right here on my coffee oh, table. <laughs> yes, I, like I said, I, I get very emotional. I'm a proud mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should be. Yeah, and she has, um, I raised her right that way. Um, you know, she and her dad both, you know, we've always been animal lovers and, and passed that on. So, you know, she's got a heart for these cats as well. The sad thing is she's never been here. Oh, gosh. So a year ago, you might all remember this is when, actually it'll be a year tomorrow, I gave my last tour here. It was March 15th because of COVID, and she was due to come during her um, spring break. She was going to come down and visit. And oh, wow. That, of course, didn't happen. So she's yet to come to Big Cat Rescue. So I'm hopeful that maybe um, soon, maybe in the future, in the summer or in the fall, she can get down here safely and I can give her a tour. Wow. That's, our, that's my goal for 21. <laughs> She's also getting married in August, so oh my. we have a lot going on. <laughs> all right, so everybody, thank you so much for being here today and for all you do to support us, support the cats, um, what you do for Big Cat Rescue, and we certainly couldn't do it without you. And we will be here again next Sunday at 2 o'clock. So have a perfectly awesome week. Thank you. That really was beautiful, Lisa.